Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a quick haul video. Um, as some of you may have known, this Saturday was the Sephora VIB Rouge, I think it was called Beauty Before Brunch event. And kind of what it was is they opened the store a little bit early for everyone who is um, a part of their VIB program level rouge and you could shop early with a friend and also get a 15% discount. And so here in this bag is all the stuff I picked up and I just thought I would share it with you and um, just show you what I decided to get at a discount. I did some restocking of the classic stuff that I use a lot and some splurging on special things because 15% off, although it's not a lot, Normally the stuff never goes on sale, so it kind of all balances out. Anyway, there's a lot in here, so let's get to it. Um, start with some of the smaller basic items. I picked up these makeup removal wipes, which I really like. Um, normally I wash my face every night, but um, you know, if I'm really tired or going to do a face mask first. I might use this wipe and then do a face mask and then wash my face for real after. Um, so that I'm not like screwing around washing my face twice. Um, but I really like these. These are the Nurture Me Cleansing Cloths and they're makeup removing from Ole Hendrickson, I think you say it. I really like these. I like the way they smell. Um, they are a little bit pricier than the drugstore ones, but these ones don't irritate my face and they do actually take off like all my eyeliner and mascara and stuff like that. So I really like that. And so I'm glad I was able to stock up on them for a little bit less than normal. Next up, I got this Stila Stay All Day uh, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this I wear every day. Um, I really like this eyeliner. I've had really good luck with it. It's one of those pen eyeliners, and I got it in intense black. I wear black eyeliner. Um, and it works really well. It's really easy to use. It's one of these like felt marker type things. Um, it just goes on really nicely, really smooth. I have used different versions of this. I've used like an Ico one and I think a YSL one and most of them dried out really quickly but the Stila one actually lasts a long time. I store it upside down like this so all of the whatever ink can drain into the bottom of the pen and yeah so that's a good staple to stock up on. The next one I love this. This is the Guerlain Precious Light um, kind of like highlighter slash concealer. I got it in color 00. Um, and this is actually, it's really expensive. Um, but the first time I tried it, I fell in love with it and really no other highlighter concealer has done it for me. Like the way that this like blends and the color of it and everything is perfect. And it comes in this velvet pouch like this. And it's just like the normal, like with the brush twilly. And so the way I do it is I fill in here, like the danger zone, um, and blend that in. And it's like, it's a really great highlighter, concealer, basic all over. Um, I splurged on this. I mean, it is something, if I could use it every day, I'd use it every day, but this is pretty expensive. I think it's this little thing is about 50 bucks. So I can't normally get it. Um, and I've tried like Marc Jacobs and Chanel and YSL, which are all actually surprisingly less expensive than this guy. And I haven't really found one that I liked. So if you have a good highlighter concealer that's not that expensive that you like, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so next in terms of stocking up, oh yeah, I got this um, Urban Decay All Night, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I use this every day. Um, that's not to say, I mean, I'm not really sure how much it works, right? Because my makeup still comes off, like I would say, like around like six or whatever when I'm getting ready to go out to drinks, I do have to do touch-ups. So I'm not sure if this is working 100% or if my skin's just weird or what it is. So um, when I was walking through the Isle of Doom on my way to check out, I also picked up this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix sample size. So I can try it and compare and see if this really is doing the job that I think it's doing. I don't know because I've been using it so religiously for so long. Maybe it's just something superfluous that I'm putting on my face. Um, so I'm going to do a little comparison between these two and see which one I like better and, you know, just continue with my routine using this. I just don't want to tell you that I use it and then it's awesome and then it works great if it's not because I really do use it more or less out of habit. 
Um, okay, so I think that was all the stuff that I did for refills. Oh, I guess I got this too. This is the triple sec um, three in one texturizer amplifier refreshing dry bar spray. And if you have never smelled this, you should smell it. It smells like so sweet and yummy and kind of citrusy. I mean, kind of, I mean, it smells like kind of like triple sec. And it's kind of like, I use it as like a, after I style my hair, if I feel like it's not voluminous enough or if there's too much volume or whatever, I like spray it on and either pat things down or judge things up. And then also it's good, ooh, things are getting crazy there. Um, it's also good on second day hair, kind of like a dry shampoo, but not as like heavy or as drying. Like it still adds shine and hold to it a little bit. And so I really like this. Okay, next in here, I guess it's on to all of the fun stuff. Um, I picked up this. This is a full-size bottle of the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume. Um, I have the Twistin spray for this, which I really like, um, and I kind of bought as an experiment, and I've used up. So the Twistin spray comes with three of the little vials, and I've already used up two of them, and so I thought I'll save the last one for when I travel and then get this larger one for my vanity and wear it, and I really like this spray, and this is the 3.4 ounce bottle, so it's the classic looking bottle. Here, I'll just, why not just open it and show you? Oh, it's so beautiful. So this is the bottle and it's just like the classic Chanel lines. I love the look of this and I love this perfume. So that was great. And 15% off is kind of like a good deal for this because you won't get it on sale otherwise. Um, next up, I picked this up kind of experimentally. This is the Guerlain Meteorite, Meteorites. <laughs> Blah. Um, baby glow and it's kind of like a you know part part like sheer foundation part bb cream part highlighter um the guerlain meteorites are probably what you know most from guerlain it's those like pearls in the jar and they're really beautiful i don't have them because i'm not so into highlighting um that I can really justify that purchase and they're kind of like weird to store. You have to store them on your vanity when I do my makeup in the bathroom. So I thought this would be fun. This has um, SPF 25 in it. They call it a light revealing sheer makeup with sunscreen, anti-fatigue effect, baby glow. I don't like the, why do they have to call it baby? I'm a woman, I am not a baby, but like I hate baby lips because they're like, oh, sexy baby lips. It's like women do not need to infantilize themselves to be sexy. Okay, that's my PSA for this video. Anyway, here it is. It's really beautiful. I got number two Clair Light. Um, and I just like the way that this um, was textured on the sample. And it also has a pump on the end. Um, I'm not going to put any on now because I'm not going to be able to shoot it very well anyways. But this is like a fun thing to try out just for summer when I want to go light and breezy and stuff like that. So I will give this a try and let you know how it goes. I also picked up the Better Than Sex Mascara, which has been very popular on YouTube. Right now I'm using uh, the Lancome Mascara. I forget the name of it, but it's the one with the crazy swan um, mascara knife, which I do really like. Um, but this one people were raving about so much, and so I thought I would just give it a try. Um, and I'm not going to open it yet because I want to use up my other mascara first. Um, and like once you open it, it starts drying out. But I do know that the essay was telling me that the way that they designed this brush, it's kind of gimmicky, is they did an hourglass bristle brush that supposedly has um, Marilyn Monroe's measurements. So if that's important to you to put on your eye, if you're like, yes tiny Marilyn Monroe in my eye. Yeah, pick this up. Um, no, but seriously, I've heard that it's very good, and so I would give it a try. Okay, um, next thing in here is I got the Too Faced Melted um, Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and this is in the color Melted Jelly Donut, and I've seen a lot of people, again, on YouTube use this, and I tried it on my hand in the store, um, and the applicator just seemed really cool and cute, and this is pretty packaging. And this is like going to be a bright lip, kind of like what I'm wearing now. I'm not wearing it now. Right now I'm wearing uh, like the cheapo green tube of 
Revlon lipstick in lilac champagne. And so this kind of like just squeezes up through this little like furry pouch and it's supposed to be kind of like a lip stain, lipstick slash stain. So that will be fun to try out. Um, and then next, again in the Isle of Doom, I picked up a Tangle Teaser brush and this one has a leopard print style and it's just a little brush that you keep like this and this is also something that I heard about on YouTube and maybe a little gimmicky because I only really brush my hair as I'm styling it but now that it's styled I wouldn't brush it out because it would end up looking crazier than it looks now. It's kind of frizz deal going on right there. Um, yeah, but it's just a little cute hairbrush. I think this will be great for travel because you don't have to deal with the whole stick and everything like that. And if I'm only brushing my hair as I'm styling it, um, yeah, I don't need that much power. And so this I'm really excited to try. And then next I did, a uh, bought this refill of the Joie de Hermes perfume and so I have the one ounce bottle and it's more or less empty now I've been wearing it a lot and so this is like a little refill bottle so you can just unscrew the top of that tiny one and I think just pour this refill one into that and I can just store this I'll, you know underneath my bathroom sink or something like that yeah because I'm pretty sure oh and there's like a little spout on there so it really truly is a refill and you should not just buy this because you'll have no way to get it on your body in a mist form. But I think it's really good value for 15% off. Um, getting anything Hermes on sale is pretty awesome. Okay, and then, then they were doing this whole promotion, like the whole thing that they were pushing on people while we were there is contouring and they were like get a mini contour makeup and try contouring and I the only contouring I had ever done was with bronzer kind of doing a number three which is that's just actually wearing bronzer that's not contouring but it can pretend and so I tried this out and I actually really liked it I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this um but this is a Smashbox step-by-step -step, uh contour stick trio and it, they kind of it's kind of like you know contouring for dummies or you know beginners um it's like three um like cream sticks Whoop. Oh, I guess it comes with a sharpener that's nice too because they're kind of big sticks um one of the makeup artists which demonstrated how to do this on me she did one side and she had me do the other what you do is you take the darkest color and this is like the dark contour excuse me and you kind of do it from the top of your ear to here I'm not a contouring expert. This is what I just learned earlier today. And then the you take the highlighter and you do like the danger zone highlighter, fill it in, and then you put the bronzer in between the two and kind of blend and blend and blend and blend and blend it all out. Um, and so that seemed more reasonable than like the other palettes and there was like balancing and there was like so many like three different highlighters and you have to mix it to match you. Whereas this just seems like you put a little bit of cream on, you blend it away until it looks normal. Um, and I thought it could be fun to like kind of mix up my look or do something a little bit different. So I bought that. And then of course you have to buy the brushes to go with it. So I got um, one, this is the Pro Crease. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but she used that to like blend in the highlighter, which I thought was really nice and I could also use another um, crease blending brush I'm not sure if I'll be able to open these fast enough on camera oh. and now it's in a little case and oh, they really go all out with this packaging oh yeah so there's that brush and so it's just kind of like a fluffy little whatever to kind of blend it out or you can blend out your crease or whatever you want to do with the brush so that's one and then this is like an angled blush brush which is more for like the actual contouring part not so much the highlighting but it's like that and it's nice and fluffy these are the the pro brushes from Sephora and it's number 49 and this is number 10 I don't know if you see that so those are the two brushes and the contouring kit that I got and then um I had well I had a bunch of Sephora points but the one thing that I picked up is this um living proof instant texture mist because I thought that would be really good for traveling and I just wanted to try it out um, my friend was using living proof products and her hair looked really good so I thought I'd try it and then we got a free gift with purchase is this fold over clutch um it's kind of nylon-y and not that great and I may ended up giving it away to a friend who will be more loving of it. Um, 
but the samples we got is we got a full size Formula X red nail polish. Let's see what else. Oh, silica gel, do not eat. Um, this Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate, which this is actually a really good product. This packaging, I hate it when they package things like this. But this is actually a really good product. I have a deluxe sample of this that I've actually been using. Um, a Buxom Pink Lady sample, which actually looks, that's actually pretty cute. The tiniest little lip gloss sample in the world. Um, nude Omega Treatment very small sample a benefit puff off little sample thing there a caviar repair shampoo and conditioner and mark jacobs daisy perfume sample um and oh and then i bopped over to the chanel counter um because you can't buy chanel makeup at sephora and i just needed a couple of essentials so first i got this um le brush creme de chanel so this is a cream blush and this is in the color affinity so it comes in this cute little velvet pouch and here is the color and it looks really bright on but you kind of like buff it out and it starts looking more like natural or dewy it picks up the natural colors of your face and then i also got a new um, Double Perfection Lumiere uh, because the one that I had before I think was a little dark and so I asked you to match again and this time I got like it's like two shades lighter so and I think it looks better this is whoops there goes the plastic wow making a mess um this is the 12 beige rose and I think that that's better not that this is the way that you should match yourself to a compact but you get the idea um yeah, so that was my really quick um, Sephora haul. Um, I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. If you've tried any of the stuff that I bought just on a whim and you think it's good or you have an opinion or something like that, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, like this video if you like shopping hauls or Sephora. And sub subscribe to my channel if you are into beauty, fashion, luxury goods, um, bag reviews, anything like that. I try and put out videos twice a week and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.